Hey, it's Lisa with the Stop and Shop deals for the week of November 10th. So the first deal I already made a video about, it's on the gift cards. Um, if you have that deal that when you spend $100 on gift cards, you get $20 back. It is also working with the loaded coupons that we have. So we had a coupon like spend $100 on Best Buy and get $20 off of your grocery. So I did a whole video on that. It's already on my channel. So if you didn't see it, check that out. I ended up with $120 worth of free food credit to the store just from purchasing these um, gift cards. So it's a really great deal. Um, the first deal that I did is the freebie. It's the Nature's Promise um, Spice Packets. They're $1.19. The e-coupon takes off $1.19. So it's just an easy freebie. The Pillsbury Mini Pies, they are $3 each. So I purchased two of them for $6. Now check on the packages. We do have a manufacturer coupon for a dollar off of one, but most of the packages had a Peely coupon right here, 75 cents off, and that coupon does double. So I had two of the Peely coupons, so I paid $3. I got a dollar back from Checkout 51 for the apple pie variety and a dollar back for the chocolate lava variety. There's also a dollar on Saving Star, so both of them were free. The Jones um, Chicken Sausage products, they are marked down to $1.24. I did tell you about this deal, I believe it was last week, I had different products from them. The Savory Magazine in some areas have a $1.50 coupon. So not every single Savory Magazine got that for some reason. It was during on one of the last couple pages. So check and see if you have it. If not, there are principal coupons. There's also matching e-coupons. I already did the e-coupon deal. I wrote that all out either last week or the week before if you wanna check out that video to see how it worked out. But it's still a small money maker if you have any more of those $1.50 manufacturer coupons from the Savory Magazine uh, because they're $1.24 and the $1.50 does come off. The Pillsbury Grands, these are the frozen biscuits. They are $2.50. We have a printable 75 cent coupon that doubles, so it's a cost of a dollar. This is the Kohl's Middles, so it's I guess it's bread with some sort of a filling. They are $3.50. We have a dollar principal coupon if you go to their website, and we have a $2 e-coupon, so it's a cost of 50 cents. The Vanity Fair napkins are 99 cents. If you have that manufacturer coupon from last week, or if you go to redplum.com, there's a 50 cent coupon that does double, making them free. There are e-coupons and there are saving star rebates, but they don't work on this particular package. The 36 count doesn't work on those. So it's just a freebie, no, no overage, um, no e-coupon with this. The Schick razors are $5.29 for the Schick Extreme 3s. So I have two of those at $10.58. I had the printable seven off of two. I had a seven off of two e-coupon and a $3 off of one e-coupon both come off. So it was a $6.42 money maker. Now the seven off of two coupon um, did beep. Anything over I think $3 at self-checkout does beep. So they had to manually put that one in for me. The end of this order did also need approval because of that. So if you're trying to avoid that, um, then you might not want to do the deal, but they did push it through. It was no issue, um, but just be aware that they do have to help you with that one. The Annie's and the Betty Crocker. So this is when you buy 10 of them, they're 75 cents each. Otherwise they're a dollar each. So I have five of the Annie's and five of the Betty Crocker potatoes. I had five of the 50 cent principal coupons from the Annie's website for the mac and cheese, and I had five of the 50 cent principal coupons for the Betty Crocker potatoes from the Betty Crocker website. All of those did completely double for me. They all did take off the dollar. So it was a $2.50 money maker. The other deal with the Betty Crocker potatoes is on just these packages. These are not part of the buy 10 and they become 75 cents. These are just a dollar each. So two of them would be $2.00. I didn't have any more of the 50 cent off of one coupon, so I used the 50 cent off of two coupon. I also had a 50 cent off of two e-coupon, and then there's a 50 cent off of two Saving Star rebate. So they're both gonna be free after Saving Star. Um, if you do have the Betty Crocker 50 cent coupon and you're not gonna do this other deal with it, you could use it on this as well. Um, and then they would just be a freebie even without e-coupons and Saving Star. 
The Coleman's Mustards, $2. I have two of them for $4. The Hopster website has a 75 cent principal coupon. I was having difficulty getting this one to scan. They had to manually enter it for me. I could not get the barcode to scan. So I'm not sure if it's just the way it printed. I didn't have any issue with any of my other printed coupons, but this one was a little tricky. Um, so they did push them through for me. So it was a dollar and then the I Bought app is giving you 75 cents back on each one. So it ends up being a 50 cent money maker. The No Yolks um, noodles, they are $2 each this week. You have to make sure you get one that is the stir fry variety and then one that's regular because we have an e-coupon for buy one of the regular and get the stir fry for free. So you have to make sure you have both. I had two of the 50 cent principal coupons. These were Hopster coupons off of any of the no yolk products. So both of those did go through and did double. The buy one get one free took off 210 for some reason, not just $2, 210. So it was a 10 cent money maker on the noodles. The Maxwell House. Now this is a deal for me because there's a super coupon in my flyer that when you spend $25, then the Maxwell House coffees become $1.99. So you'd have to check your flyer to see if you have this offer. You do have to spend $25 in order to do this and you do have to do them in separate transactions. So I did three different transactions at Stop and Shop. That's why I have three different products here. So the first one I did was on just the regular Max Boost. I used that coupon that was in the flyer, making it $1.99. Checkout 51 has a $1.25 rebate with a limit of five. And Saving Star also has a $1.25 rebate. So it's a 51 cent money maker. Now on the Max Indulge, they're also $1.99 if you use that super coupon. And again, these were all separate transactions. Um, so I purchased one. I had a 75 cent coupon. So be on the lookout for this booklet right here. It's usually found in the baking aisle next to like the jello and things like that. The back page has these coupons and one of the coupons is 75 cents off the max indulge um, coffee. And that does double. So I had that 75 cent coupon. So I paid 49 cents. I submitted for $1.25 on Checkout 51, $1.25 on Saving Star for the first time. The second time I did it, I only paid $0.49 cents and I got $1.25 back from Checkout 51. So Saving Star is a limit of one, but Checkout 51 is a limit of five. So you can do five of them with Checkout 51. Um, the Icelandic yogurts are $1.25, so three of them would be $3.75. If you go to their website, there is a 50 cent principal coupon. It does double. You pay 75 cents, and then the Ibotta app has $2 back when you buy three. Now that one really seems to be per um, user. Not every single person has that deal. So check through Stop and Shop and see if you have this deal before you purchase them. I know some people have mentioned that they don't have that offer in their app, so just check. If you do have the offer, it becomes a $1.25 money maker. Final deal I did is on the Crunch Master crackers. They are $2.50 each. We have a dollar principal coupon from coupons.com. We have a dollar e coupon. You'd pay 50 cents. And then the Ibotta app has a dollar rebate, and Checkout 51 has a dollar rebate. So, money maker with two, those two apps. Um, so, the only other thing I'm really thinking about is possibly doing a few more of the gift card deals. I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, but uh, of course, if I'm there and I find any other deals, then I will also share them. All right, enjoy your day.